hey lovelies as always if you're returning welcome back to my channel if you're new then welcome to the family today i'm going to be doing my tutorial on how to do gonga peas and rice um it's also known as pigeon peas so if you see pigeon peas and not gonga peas don't stress it's the same thing so on here now in my stove i've got a pot on with some water um, I've got one and a half litres of water or 1,500 mLs if you haven't got the litre measurement. So I'm just going to turn this on. It's going to leave it on a medium heat. So to this, I'm going to add... Oh, shifted you a little bit. I'm going to add two teaspoons of salt. Guys, if you don't want to use this much salt, that's up to you. And I'm just using table salt. I'm going to add one teaspoon of ground black pepper. On the back here I've got my garlic so I'm going to add in four pegs of garlic. And eight pimento seeds. If you don't know what it looks like, that's the one. And then I've got my peas here that I've taken out and washed already. Okay, guys, so I've washed them and I've got them in my bowl. So that is. 330 grams that I've measured out there. Guys, just so you know, these peas don't take as long to cook as the red kidney peas. So you literally just need to cook them quickly and get on with it. Take too long, they'll start to mush out and then it won't be very pleasant for you. So we're just gonna let this come to a boil and then once it comes to a boil, then I'll show you what I'm doing next. All right, love, so as you can see, um, it's now come to a boil. So I'm going to add my coconut milk to this. And um, guys, you can use whatever coconut milk you have access to. And um, if you want to use the tinned one, if you want to use the one in the, in the box and cut up the milk, that's up to you. If you want to grate your coconuts and make it from scratch, that's totally up to you. Okay, you use whatever you have access to. I know there's been quite a few people that have commented on the rice and peas video um, saying that, you know, I should have used um, coconut and done it from scratch and blah, blah, blah. Let me just make this clear. Not everywhere in the world can you get access to good coconuts to do all of that stuff. Some people can't even get access to coconuts where they are. So, guys, there's no shame in any of it. It's all the same thing. Use whatever coconut milk you have access to, okay? Right, so I've got 350 mLs of coconut milk in here. Yes, I used my tin coconut milk. So I'm just going to put that in. Just give it a mix. Right guys and then I'm going to add in my scallion so I've got four stalks of scallion that I'm going to put in um, I do freeze my scallion because I don't use it that often and when I get access to good scallion that's what I have to do so my ones are from the freezer I've washed them cut them up and everything and I've just put them in freezer bags so that's that and then I've got my thyme here fresh one from the garden and there's eight stalks of that, four stalks, sorry. If you want to, you can add more, you can add less. It's totally up to you. There's no rules as to how much skeleton or time you need to use. I'm just giving you a guideline of what I use. And then I'm going to pop my scotch bonnet pepper in as well. So, guys, I'm just going to turn it down a bit. 
and then just let the peas boil and cook and then obviously you've got all your seasoning in there ready so you're going to need to get your rice as well measured out so i've got 575 grams of rice to do this and you're also going to need to get your piece of foil and i've just folded mine in half okay so just get a bit of foil enough to cover your pot cover and just fold it in half all right so guys i'm just going to leave this make sure you leave your pot cover slightly slanted do not have it fully covered otherwise it will boil over into your scope so just cover it like that okay so guys get your rice measured and get ready to do it okay lovely so i've had the peas on for around 25 minutes now cooking and it's ready to do this thing i'm going to take out the scotch bonnet pepper because i can smell it so i think it may be worse in there because I freeze my peppers well my scotch bonnet peppers I always freeze them so that I can keep them for a while without them going off all right guys so I'm taking that out so it doesn't cause a problem I've got my, my rice that I've washed already so it's just in the strainer here and I'm just going to add that to peas now whilst it's boiling as like I said gunga peas is not like red kidney beans peas whatever you call it it cooks really quickly so you don't want to leave it for as long as you do the red kidney peas all right I'm just using my fork and just giving it a mix to just help separate the rice grains. All right. So I've got my foil that I prepped from earlier. Like I said, I've got a, one piece of foil, folded it in half, and then I'm just going to get my pot cover and just wrap it around it, yeah? That's what I've done. I just wrapped the foil around the pot cover, yeah? So that's the top there. And it's just wrapped around it, all right? Doesn't have to be done in any special way. Just gonna give it a mix again. And then I'm going to turn it down to the lowest flame possible and put it on the smallest burner with it covered and then just leave it to cook through. Okay, so just make sure that it's pushed down properly and it's secure there and just leave it I'll say for about 20 minutes and then check on it. Yeah. Right, love so it's been around 20 minutes so i'm just gonna check on my rice okay so that's where it's at so far i'm gonna put a little bit more water over it um i'm using boiling hot water from the kettle by the way so i'm just gonna sprinkle a bit more over it i'll say around 150 mls that was and i'm just gonna cover it back and leave it again for a further 15 minutes and then once that is done i'll show you guys the end result okay lovely people so it's been 20 minutes so i meant to leave it for 15 but i left it for a further 20 because i was getting some bits done so as you can see it is ready and guys all you're going to do is just take out your stalks from your thyme you need to take out your scallion you need to take out your pimento seeds because trust me biting into them ain't pleasant okay and then you're just going to fluff your rice and it's all done so i'm going to show you i'm going to go off and take out the seasonings and then i'll come back and show you guys how i'm fluffing my rice and all that all right love so i've taken out uh, most of the seasoning already there's still a few bits in there but um 
whilst you're fluffing your rice you might come across them so all I'm doing is just taking from the bottom up oh my gosh got garlic there so you're just fluffing it from the bottom up and just separating the grains just gentle taking your time and guys as you can see you've got nice grains that are separated it's not stodgy or anything and the bottom of the rice isn't burnt the sides aren't burnt or anything like that so guys if you follow this method and recipe you're literally in foolproof zone okay there's no way for this to go wrong unless you divert from it and do your own thing all right so there you go all around as you can see i'm taking it right from the bottom to the top there's literally no burn or anything i'm gonna show you guys the bottom let me see if i can zoom right in and show you the bottom of the pot so i'm just going to tilt it a bit and just lift them off see if i can show you guys the bottom there don't know how well you can see it let me just move this so there you go you can see the bottom of the pot there nice and clear okay guys so literally that's all there is to it okay follow this method and trust me your rice will come out perfect every single time okay guys so that's it for me hope you enjoy your rice whatever you're cooking it along with or you can just have it by itself trust me it will be nice <laughs> okay guys remember to like this video share it and turn on your notifications if you want to know when i'm uploading my new videos guys and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel okay so i will see you in the next one guys have a great day stay safe